Trash. Trash. Bonjour tout le monde. Oh oui, oui, I'm feeling French today because of my beret. French is hard, man. But what is also hard is my pe- Guys, today we will eat. We will eat real good or real bad. You don't know that yet. I saw a TikTok from Emily Jade and she basically ate what she saw on her For You page for a whole day. So if you're on TikTok, you know how this For You page works. You literally just swipe and swipe and swipe and TikTok shows you what it thinks you want to see. And I have to say my For You page has seen better days because <laughs> I feel like my For You page is confused sometimes. So let's eat. Nous manger. No, nous mangeons. Before we get into this video, I have some quick little news because we actually finally restocked on my black eyeliner from Melody Lashes. <laughs> They were sold out after just a day and we took some time to prepare the restock and now it's finally there. I still love my baby so, so much and I would love for you to try it so you can get it at melodylashes.com. International shipping is possible. So if you want to get it, get it now. And let's get into the video. And we're going to start with breakfast. For breakfast, my For You page actually showed me this video, which is another creator reacting to the original video. It's honestly not super exciting, but it's cute and it is cream cheese on toast <laughs> i think there could be worse things than eating toast for breakfast so i'm already posing with my air fryer because i am super excited to be using it again <laughs> here's the plot twist first we're gonna make the cream cheese mixture and for that we're gonna put some cream cheese in a bowl and just make it a little soft then we're gonna add some brown sugar and some vanilla sauce no wait what's that called and of course a dash a good dash of cinnamon because i love cinnamon Cinnamon. And this is basically it. This is your cream cheese mixture. I also ended up adding a little bit more brown sugar and vanilla extract. And that's it. Just mix it around for some time and then you can already put it on your toast. You can obviously use whatever bread or whatever pastry you want. I actually forgot the step to add butter underneath it. <laughs> Shame on me. She definitely did that in the original recipe. And then I wanted to be crazy and also try one side with cheese. Because once in my life I I had tried a grilled cheese sandwich with brown sugar and it was actually really really good and it was with mozzarella cheese which is not too overpowering so I thought maybe this will also work on this so I'm also experimenting here I don't know so we're gonna put both of these into the air fryer and I put them in there for like seven to eight minutes on 180 degrees celsius and that's what they looked when they came out it smelled really good it looked really good I'm very excited about this I also put one blob of butter on top so I could just even out the butter ratio. <laughs> it works. It just looked a little nasty. But I have to say it is quite good but I also don't know how this couldn't be good. It's a little unnecessary but I would still say it's an elevated toast because it's warm. It's kind of savory because of the cheese. I also don't really think the cheese was necessary. It was still a good breakfast. The first thing that I saw on my For You page definitely did not disappoint me. But also didn't wow me. And now for lunch, we're gonna make something from Bella's Bites. This woman lives on my For You page for some reason. And she keeps on eating this mac and cheese. Apparently I really like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is about her mac and cheese, but it looks so much better than other people's mac and cheese. Also with the sausage on top and like, it just looks so good. The way she eats it, it's just so satisfying. Oh, she also drinks it with this Pepsi and I just know how satisfying that must be to have like this very savory mac and cheese with a super ice cold pepsi i mean i'm not a huge pepsi fan but you get my point luckily i also found out which exact mac and cheese she's using i mean she made a video about it showing her recipe <laughs> i'm so good at finding stuff all so this mac and cheese actually impossible to get but not for me <laughs> it was really hard to get because it was some kind of american brand that they just sell at walmart i found it on ebay though i ordered it and it never arrived and then i ordered it again and then it magically arrived in not such a great condition though. Yeah, it looked a little rough when it arrived. All of these macaronis just kept on falling out of the packaging. And then I also wondered, what if I ordered something that was meant to be like frozen? <laughs> like, I don't know anything about this mac and cheese. I just know that most of it is not frozen, but what if that one is? Like I suddenly got really scared, but also I had no choice. So I went ahead and 
made it. I mean, it's one of the easiest things making mac and cheese. I'm just gonna put in the noodles, uh, the pasta. Can you call that pasta? Max. And we're gonna go after Bella's recipe. So we're also gonna add some vegetables. These are frozen vegetables, so you can just add them at the same time as the macaroni. They're gonna cook for about 10 minutes or something. And then you can basically already drain them and it's done. <laughs> I mean, now you're gonna add the liquid gold, which I didn't actually know if it was gonna be liquid gold or rather liquid mold <laughs> it didn't really look like gold honestly it was just white goo but it didn't smell bad i smelled it and it smelled good actually it smelled like nothing so just add all of that in there and that is basically that recipe done just put some more black pepper in it maybe salt or whatever spices you want but um yeah it's just some instant mac and cheese so super easy to make and of course we're also adding some extra cheese i just had mozzarella but i think something a bit more fragrant could have done the job better but it was fine we're just here to make it cheesy with whatever you have oh then i also obviously needed a sausage because bella also had a sausage <laughs> but I had trouble finding a sausage like she had. So I just found this Schinken mit Wurst. That's how we call it in Germany. Thank you. It's like a super intense, almost like a salami kind of Wurst, but it's still a Bratwurst. Like it's meant to be gebraten. And here's the sound you've been waiting for. Actually, Bella always adds some kind of Chipotle Tabasco. Of course, we don't have that here in Germany, so I just added normal Tabasco. And I kind of underestimated how spicy it is. I added a bit too much. I have to say it was still very yummy, even though it could have used a bit more flavor. Like, I wish I would have added a bit more, or maybe if I had that Chipotle Tabasco, maybe that would have done the job. It was still very good, though. Like, it was more flavorful than I expected. I just always expect not a lot of flavor from mac and cheese because that is just my impression from mac and cheese i don't think i ever had a flavorful mac and cheese in my life actually but yeah i didn't expect much and therefore my expectations were actually met and above above met and also with the sausage i have to say it was a very very good side because the sausage was so, so intense in flavor that it gave the mac and cheese what it didn't have. I can only recommend this. Like if you wanna have something nasty and quick, this is for you. I didn't have a Pepsi to go with it, but what I had was my, I'm obsessed with Spezi. If you don't know what it is, it is basically Coke, mixed with Fanta. Especially with this food, it was just giving me. So yeah, very happy with my lunch so far, very happy with the day so far. And now we're like getting into the afternoon and I'm getting a little bit of Hüngerchen, as we say in Germany, a little bit of an appetizer loop, appetizzi. So for my little Hüngerchen, I wanted an afternoon snack. And we're gonna make, no, we're not gonna make something, but we're gonna eat what eat with Gigi eats because i found this video actually i found a lot of her videos like she's also constantly on my for you page but she actually eats hearts of palm in a video and some artichokes if you've never heard of hearts of palm it's basically the insides of a palm tree that you can eat apparently but also not every palm tree has that anyway that is also very hard to get in germany we don't sell that in our local supermarket so i also had to order that but i see hearts of palm so many times on my for you page also other people eating it and i have been wanting to try it for so long and now is the time so here are my hearts of palm <laughs> oh they slimy whoa obviously i also ordered some artichokes because eat with gg ate them in the video so i had to also eat this wow. i also heard a lot of people say that hearts of palm kind of tastes like artichoke hearts so that's why i want to compare them so excited <laughs> oh it tastes good mm. i don't know what i should compare it to maybe cauliflower it could be like pickled cauliflower maybe oh look the middle part is coming out i think i can just <laughs> that's what i also saw people do a lot of times just like eat the outer bits and this is what they are looking forward to Mm. <laughs> Wait, I didn't expect it to be that good. The outer parts are really good, but the center, wow. Okay, let's now try the artichoke heart in, com ugh, in comparison. That tastes so different, but that is not so good. Nah, these outer leaves, they're very chewy. Like, it tastes like you can't eat them. I'm gonna just eat the middle part. Mm. 
but it doesn't taste good. You've been sent to see your dinner. Do you know what that is? No, I definitely have not seen what this is. <laughs> I'll do Slimy. one side and you do the other. <laughs> you just eat it like this. Mmm, <laughs> asparagus. Oh, now I'm getting out of joke. Yeah, get um, the outer parts off and let the soft middle part slide out. Ooh, oh. <laughs> That's a good okay. one, Master. Yo. Do you also like artichokes? Because I don't like those. You can have Nar? Them. No. Maybe they're bad. They're not bad. They're just not good. <laughs> it's not bad. It's just not good. Um. <laughs> I know that's so gross, right? Well, I like artichoke. Okay, you can... Ah! <laughs> wow. Okay, now it is dinner time. And for this, I actually have quite a complicated recipe. Well, not really complicated, just a very time-consuming recipe. So I got shown this video by Kelita Rosita, actually replying to a video by Shek Eats. And I think the original recipe is by Shek Eats. But I'm showing this video because this is the one that was on my For You page. And we're gonna make a French onion soup pasta. And in this video, Kelita Rosita Rosita literally says this pasta recipe was life-changing and that it was the best pasta recipe they ever made. And you know that this statement got me. <laughs> I am a huge pasta fan myself. And if somebody says they made the best pasta recipe, I make it. We're gonna go after the Shaq Eats recipe. Kelita Rosita actually put like a little screenshot in there of the recipe. It's a, it's a little uh, messy, but actually it is explained quite well. So first of all, we're gonna have to cut a lot of onions. Technically, three three huge onions but I just had small onions so I think in the end I cut like six. six. In honor of cutting all of these onions here is my cutting onion song. Onions that make you cry tonight despite the fact that they always taste so damn good. So now you're gonna put all of your cut onions into the pan, put a little bit of oil in there and just let them pan fry for the tiniest little bit. Then you're gonna add some salt and also some white wine, white wine, and just let it simmer over high heat until the white wine evaporates. As soon as that happened, lower it to low to medium heat, that's important. And you're gonna add some herbs de Provence and some pepper. And now comes the most amazing stirring process, which is basically just letting it cook there for 30 minutes occasionally stirring it so it's like in movement and then after 30 minutes you're gonna add some garlic and by garlic i mean not one clove not two not three not four not five not six not seven eight, eight cloves of garlic just crush the garlic in there or just slice it normally whatever you prefer and then you're gonna let it cook there for another 30 minutes <laughs> <laughs> the recipe actually says you can caramelize those onions for up to three hours, which would be even better, but you can also do one hour, but minimum one hour. <laughs> I've never in my life spent so much time caramelizing onions. This is what they look after one hour of caramelizing and I was really done with it and I wanted to eat. So now we're gonna add our pasta in there, our choice of pasta. I'm going with spaghetti. Then you wanna put two cups of broth in there. I put vegetable broth, but you can also add chicken broth whatever you prefer and after about five minutes of simmering you can start moving those spaghettis around wait spaghetti is plural now you're gonna do what you do when you cook risotto because you're gonna add some hot water and then as soon as that evaporated you're gonna add some more hot water and so on and so on and that you're gonna do for about 50 minutes until your pasta is basically cooked or the way you want it to be cooked and now for the most important part except of the onions obviously Obviously. the cheese you can use gruyere cheese or swiss cheese just something that has a bit more <laughs> to it this is gruyere that i am using and i'm just cutting it into small little blocks mm. Add your cheese in there and then just stir it until the cheese is kind of melted. And then you can finally plate 
the food. To be honest, I'm not really good at plating the food. It always turns out to be a little bit of a mess. But the most important thing is that the food gets onto the plate, right? Garnish it with a block of butter. I mean, not a whole block, just like a little bit. <laughs> and some fresh parsley. And there you have it, your French onion soup pasta. And when I tell you that this smelled so good throughout the cooking process even and now and I'm just drooling just looking at it right now. I made it for Vincent as well so here is us eating our dinner. Finally after one and a half hours in the kitchen. Gorgeous. Okay, it doesn't actually look that gorgeous but. Oh I What are those flavors? And what do you think of my French onion soup pasta? That's really nice. I think, let me try again. Where are all these flavors coming from? This is not what I would expect from an right? onion. It's like slightly sweet because of the caramelized onions. It's very umami because of the broth that I cooked it in. And it's obviously cheesy because of the gruyere. Also, it's fairly easy, no? It's very easy, it just takes a long time. Well, are you gonna make it again? I doubt that I will ever find so much time in my life again. But if I want to impress someone, I think I would make yeah. this. <laughs> you could make it together with your date. Bonding. I hate cooking with someone. Bonding. No. First of all, I don't want to feel useless. And second of all, I don't want to be annoyed by the other person doing their stuff. And both of it quickly happens. You can just cut the onions and I'll do the rest. <laughs> I hate cutting onions. <laughs> wow, I think Gruyere is also one of my favorite cheeses now. <laughs> did you ever have Gruyere? I don't know, actually. Maybe I did. Yeah. Wow, come on, Bruder. This is my first Paulana Spezi since over two months. Wow. It is giving me life today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Do you think this will give us problems in the toilet? Mm -mm. I think not because it's been cooked for that long. Like all the problems have been cooked out of it. Parsley is always like okay, but then it gets too much so quickly. Yeah, I love parsley. I could eat it on a parsley branch. <laughs> Can only recommend if you have a lot of time in the kitchen, a lot of time yeah? to spare. But there's parsley in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like you should top it off with some nuts. <laughs> they shouldn't. Do not. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> I just have to repeat it. I think this is in my top three best pasta dishes ever. I'm just very, very impressed with this recipe. Shake Eats, you made a really, really amazing thing there. And I want to eat it every day. And now it's like 11 p.m., maybe even 12 a.m. It's, it's definitely very late. And I just had a little hangachen again. <laughs> and I found these vegan pancakes at my local supermarket. And I thought, why not give it a try? I also had some cream cheese left from my birthday. Where did that come from? Oh, actually, it's my birthday soon. Ah! Sagittarius queens, you may rise with me. So I had some cream cheese left from breakfast and I thought, why not just use it up and eat it on those pancakes? I know it's not technically from my For You page, but also technically it is. But also these pancakes, they were not giving. <laughs> I don't know, they kind of tasted like bread, but also like dry bread. Sorry, I'm just not a fan of these pancakes, but I'm still a fan of this cream cheese. Also, we were watching Attack on Titan because Vincent asked me if we could watch it. He's not an anime type of person, so that is really crazy for him. But yeah, maybe we can then finally watch the last episode together. But yeah, that was my video trying my For You page for a day. I think I was actually really lucky. I really think this pasta recipe is gonna change my life forever. I'm very proud of my For You page today. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on X. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'm in such a good mood today, I don't know why. Goodbye. <laughs>